hi welcome now i'm going to show you how to create class intervals and frequency distributions uh, uh, using count if function okay the data what i have here is the students uh, students from 1 to 100 and uh, 100 students and their respective marks okay so what i need to do is i need to find out uh, how many students uh, between uh, whose marks between 1 to 10 similarly for how many students whose marks between 11 to 20 and so on okay my class intervals are in uh, 10 by 10 and uh, it is by 10s 1 to 10 11 to 20 and so on okay you can use the same example to uh, calculate uh, for a different uh, intervals okay the 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 length of the interval is maybe 20s or 40s or whatever okay so my frequency is num nothing but the number of students who belongs to this class interval okay whose marks belong to this uh, intervals okay now what i will do is i will um, get the frequencies of all the all the uh, class intervals and finally if you add the frequency it must come up with uh, 100 because uh, my total number of uh, marks is 100 uh, students is 100 okay so before that what i will do is i will go i will i'm going to create uh, uh, name for these marks okay because we, every time we are going to refer the marks as a range so it is better it's a good practice to give a name okay go to select all the cells go to define name give a name student marks okay so this is the full student marks is given and uh, how to write uh, if count if function okay equal to count if okay if count if function is because we are going to check the lower bound as well as the upper bound is multiple of criteria so we are going to use the count ifs function counts the number of cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria so our we are going to count the student marks okay how many students uh, belonging to this interval okay so we are going to do with the count ifs function because we have a, a, a lot of criteria in this case it is two criteria which is lower bound and upper bound satisfaction okay so the first is the lower bound um, how to do the criteria criteria is nothing but student our range is student marks so we get all the marks so what we are going to do is we are going to compare this is less than or equal to the range is less than or equal to uh, greater than or equal to one if it is more than one it will count okay so the whole set of array student box it is going to check each element and uh, count if it is greater than one not only this condition we need we have another condition not only it is greater than 1 it has to be less than 10 also so close we we have passed uh, two sets of array to count if only these two conditions are satisfied it will count count if student marks is uh, okay what happens here is that uh, it has to be instead of uh, doing this fashion the conditional fashion we need to give a comma the condition okay first you send the range and then the condition 
again the range again the condition okay. okay so you are sending the first uh, uh, student marks and what is the condition you want to check then again the range again the condition you see one so it has to be all the marks sent and what is the condition to be checked again what what is the second action is the criteria uh, criteria range 2 and criteria 2 okay so similarly for this is the class so only one student marks between 1 and 10 similarly for 11 and 20 so for that you need to change the interval 11 to 20 zero no one belongs to this class interval okay now 11 to 20 21 to 30 31 to 40 41 to 31 to 50 51 to 60 61 to 70 you can keep uh, lower bounds and upper bounds in two different columns uh, in for each class interval then just uh, refer that to cells instead of uh, uh, instead of uh, typing the lower bound or upper bounds here that will be very easier from 80 81 to 100 you see you got all the frequencies for every class interval you sum it up and see whether it goes under yes so this way you can use uh, count if function just pass the student marks or whatever you want to check and also the range also the uh, lower bound and upper bound uh, uh, greater than or equal to lower bound and less than or equal to upper bound okay you you pass uh, array criteria array criteria then automatically it gives you the frequency okay it will count up so so this is the way you can work on uh, on class intervals and uh, do the respective frequency distribution hope this video is helpful to you and see you on next video thank you god bless you